Hello, welcome to round one of this Mormir Basic. I'm trying to change my volume. Okay. Our hand is all lands, which is perfect. We're going to keep. <laughs> and we're on the draw. So I think I'm going to change my play depending on what my opponent does. Um, I like to make one drops though, because if you do hit a mana creature, it's so good. And if you don't, then you can always skip like three drops, and it's not so bad. Um, so we'll see what we got. 1-1 <laughs> one, one flyer, okay that's quite good. Um, if they don't get flyers this will chip in for a couple damage. And yeah I like making 1 drops because most people don't. And you can usually get in for some damage before they can actually start making creatures. And since the board usually ends up in like a stall, um, the early drop creatures and the little chip in damage you can get usually does quite a lot. So yeah, my opponent now has just a 1-1 one, one for 2. So I can start hitting in the air. I'm going to make a 2-drop as well. Oh, that's a really good blocker. So I think um, now that I have this really good ground blocker, I'll probably skip 3 and maybe 4-drops and just hit in the air as many times as I can until my opponent has a good creature out and then I need to have an answer to that. But right now we're doing alright. <laughs> of course that can drastically change uh, if you've ever played Momir Basic. Okay, they have a 2-1 flyer. So I can't really attack anymore, but I do have a good blocker for their guy. So yeah, now we're even on cards. And I have answers to both of their threats, and they're at one less life. So I consider that a win. Uh, my opponent, I guess, we'll see what they have. Hypnotic Siren. Tap creature without flying. Okay. <laughs> so we can still block whatever they're doing. And right now we can get up to 8 drops. I'll definitely take that trade. Right, okay. We're going to play the land and see how many we can get. I'm playing Mountain, so I have four, one, two, three, four, five in hand. So yeah, we can get up to eight drops, which I think is good enough. Usually we'll be able to draw at least one card, but I think the three mana creatures... Oh, that card's amazing. <laughs> We're just going to gain three life every turn. That's so good. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I think the three drop creatures are the worst overall. Um, there's a lot of two mana creatures that are mana accelerants, which I think mana acceleration is one of the best things you can do in this game, or in this format. Um, just being a turn ahead of your opponent is great. And then you can end up going to a higher mana count. So when your opponent's playing like seven drops and you're playing nine drops, you're usually doing quite well. And now we gain three life every turn, and we have a 3-3 flyer. Yeah, this guy can just block all their creatures. We can hit for three in the air. I'm just still just going to make creatures, because we have enough lands to do it. 4-4 four, four flying vigilance. Ooh, oh that's very good. Okay, we're just kind of crushing our opponent right now. <laughs> but, <laughs> that can always change. Radiant Archangel. So it's a 3-3 and it's just going to keep getting bigger. This card's going to be huge at the end of the game. They don't have any blue mana yet. What is this do? You can get First Strike and Trample. That's pretty good. Always yes. Always yield. Okay. 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh jeez. That guy's gonna get big. But we have so much life and we're hitting for 7 next turn. Still gonna play the mountain. Just keep it even between these. I'm going to discard the Swamp. Um, fire Breathing is more of an important ability. You may sacrifice an artifact. 
I'm just gonna go to the face. I don't have an artifact to sacrifice though. But hitting for seven in the air. Um, we take nine, but that's okay. We kill them in two turns if they don't have a flyer. And even if they do, it's pretty hard for them to win. Yep, Sangromancer's fine. Birthing Hulk. Okay. That card's kind of bad. It just gives them two 1-1 one, one tokens, and then I guess it can be regenerated. Hmm. I wonder if they've updated this so you can run wastes in your basic lands. Maybe that would be worth playing like one of. They're shrinking their beasts of birding by doing this. I don't know if that's a good idea. So I block here, block here, block here, and I take 11, but they lose their creatures, and then this guy gets smaller. They gain life from that too? Jeez. <laughs> Sangromancer is amazing. Yep. So, seven drops. I think I can make one. There are some that are bad for you, but it's in general better off to make one. Yeah, 6-6 six, six Trample's fine. So I can hit for 7 in the air, and if my opponent doesn't hit a flyer, that about locks it up. Like, we can take 10 and it doesn't really do much. This is how one side of the games can be. <laughs> yep, gain some life. <laughs> I guess that is the benefit of Birthing Hulk in this format. Sure. Oh, always yes, always yield. When this enters... Okay, they have a 3-4 flyer, but I have a 5-5 five, five flyer. So I just hit Radiant Archangel. The next turn I can make an 8 drop. I take 9, but that doesn't really matter. Actually, I might just have lethal. Let's see. They can block... Yeah, if they attack, I might just have lethal. They block here. Take three. This block's here. This block... No, I guess they don't. So I think they should have attacked. I'm not going to make an eight drop, because there are some that can just kill you. I don't know of any six drops that can just, like, destroy your own creatures. Yeah. Like, that card's just fine. So we hit with our 5-5. Five, five. Hmm. Opponent taking it. Now they have to hit a flyer. It deals half, rounded down. But they're still dead because that doesn't have flying. Yeah. Should have blocked. <laughs> Alright, game two. Uh, nothing to sideboard. And we're on the draw again. Which I like being on the draw. Swamps and mountains. I'm gonna keep. No one drop. So I'm still gonna make a one drop. We can hit a mana dork. Or something. Done. 
Ooh. Okay. If we find a force, this card can attack early on for quite a bit. Um, the card, although it looks like it's going to flip, it actually doesn't because it's a creature token. So that's just going to be annoying for the rest of the game. My opponent playing their creature second main phase is kind of strange. Uh, if it's hasty, they could... Oh, <laughs> Wolfbane Captive perfectly blocks the Neonate. I'm always going to yield, because it's never going to flip. Forest. Ugh. Okay, playing a Swamp. I'm going to make a 2-drop and then probably skip 3. But I can trade my 1-drop for their 2-drop. Hmm. Actually, I can trade my Gloom Surgeon for the Neonate. So that's kind of nice. This card can just block everything. It's actually very good. Um, usually you don't mill out in this format because you're not really drawing many cards. What is this? Okay, I take one. It's not so bad. But I'm eating the blood craze neonate now. I think I might actually just attack with Wolfbitten Captive into the Kessig Malcontents. Gotta do it. Yep. Block. Forced. Nope. Okay. I'm gonna skip my combat and offer the trade for the Wolfbitten Captive. Now we're back up to the appropriate amount of cards to have in hand to hit 8 drops, which really 8 drops are kind of all you need. 7 drops are a bit worse, and 9 drops are safer. Ooh, plus 0 plus 1. Still can't attack. But that will be good overall. Still no force. Forcer, you gain that much life. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty good. So, uh, this is why we play a lot of mountains and swamps. Uh, there's a lot of, like, fire breathing or dark breathing type effects. And you may have target creature. No! What? No! That's so good. Oh, that's not good at all. gonna kill both of my guys. Okay, we're gonna start playing mountains, because Sun Home Enforcer, this ability might be relevant at some point. But now we really need to start hitting creatures, because they can kill one of our guys every turn. This is a card? <laughs> huh. Um, no point in attacking. Because they can just kill it. But that card is quite good. Interesting that they chose to kill the worst creature. Maybe they don't know, but that's a 1-1 one, one, and this is a 2-1 that can't die, so that's kind of strange. It's a good card. 4-5 flying can kill a land. Killing lands is huge in this format, because there's almost no way to draw cards, and so... Like, if they kill my land, I can only play 7 drops, and then they're playing 8 drops, and... I'm just slowly going to fall behind, unless I'm really lucky, but usually that's not the case. More mountains. What is this? Oh, <laughs> so duplicant would be good, but it says non-token creature, oddly enough. So we're kind of getting crushed here. We have no good attacks. Our opponent's killing all of our creatures.
Let's see if they... Okay, they figured it out. Very much looking like we're gonna go to a game three. Yeah, five, six, trample. Uh, not, not the best seven drop, but we're still taking a lot. Yep, four in the air. <laughs> There's the forest. Okay. I guess I'll keep the forest just in case. Hey! Oh, that's horrible. There's his one more toughness, so we don't even trade. Okay, we need some good eight drops. They're attacking first? Huh. Oh, how did they stop at seven? Strange. Oh, right, because they went first and never skipped three drop. Okay. I actually like this. Um, now we get one more creature than our opponent. I'm just going to play the swamp. Eight. Prevent the next five damage. That would be dealt. I don't think that does anything. Right? I can prevent five that will be dealt to him, but they can still kill it. Same here, right? Four, one. Although... No, because I'm just trading a siege worm. Yeah, I'm just going to put it here and then pass. But we have a five, five flyer now. So if they want to trade the dragon for one of our lands, they can? Oh, it's a 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> this game's hard. <clears throat> yep. So I can't even block the dragon. This is where Blessed Orator is getting quite good. Yep, take 4. Oh my. Oh, uh, actually that's not good at all. I mean, 8-9 flying trample is huge, but the ability does nothing. Okay, we gotta draw. What is this? Whenever another creature attacks, it gains trample and indestructible. Hmm. Quite good. Uh, I'm gonna gain some life now. Right? Whenever another creature attacks, trample. Yeah, so I'm gonna gain two. That's really good in this format. <clears throat> I mean, I'm taking 12 in the air, so I have to chump block. But if my opponent wants to play land, then they can't kill the angel. Can't be prevented. Okay, that doesn't matter. Okay, we're doing alright. We're gonna lose a land. What? Four five. Destroy non creature permanent. Sure. They already played a land. This seems weird. I mean, I'm fine just playing seven drops. They're not that much worse that it's worth giving away a huge flyer. Ooh, Triskelevis. Flying. Okay. So, gain two life again. 
eight eight just gets blocked there. So I don't have any good attacks still. But this Triskelvis might do some work. Sure. Yep. Gang two. Okay, this is getting really close. I don't know why they didn't attack with Razakef. It seems like just a huge mistake. Yeah, there you go. So this makes Triskelevites. Sacrifice this creature, deals one damage. Okay. Uh, no. Actually. Now we can double block, and it can only kill one of them. Yeah, I like that. They already played their land. Okay, this is going very well now. What is this? Deals three damage to an attacker or blocker. Okay, that's good. So we can start hitting in the air. Yeah, okay. Gaining some life. Always yield, yeah, that's fine. I could attack with a stone hoof chieftain. But I think I'm gonna wait one more turn for Lady Calaria to be active. But this is going quite well. My opponent kind of threw away the game with that last attack. Yep, always yield. So I've gained a lot of life back. <laughs> okay. That card is very tough to beat. Yeah, that just makes a huge army, so we gotta kill them in the air. So I think I need to start being aggressive now. Uh, make a 7 drop. Sacrifice it. It's a 12-12 trample. <laughs> no, it's so bad. I didn't even know that was a card. No. <laughs> um, so we're gonna attack with... You, you, you. Is that good? We're gonna take a lot of damage on the backswing. Maybe not you. Maybe you. Although they can just block this with the God Sire. I think I need this back to block everything. Is this a vigilance? No. Okay. Just hitting for four, gaining two. And this Godfire is really gonna do work. Yep, take two. That's one of the cards that you really need to worry about. Uh, it makes all of your creatures unable to attack, except for itself. Um, so I'm just going to kill them in the air now. I'm just going to make six drops, because there are some bad seven drops. Okay, I don't know what that was. attack here and here. <laughs> Not gonna kill your guy. <clears throat> it 
So yeah, now they need to find a way to kill that guy. <laughs> I think that's just game. <laughs> Yep. You can attack with it. I'm just gonna block with a duplicant, I think. Doesn't really matter. This means both their creatures doubly can't attack. <laughs> it's so bad for them. Okay, I'm gonna make a 7 drop now. You can keep sacrifice unless you pay double black. Not horrible. Yep, so still attack with these two. Gain some life, indestructible. And uh, I can moat. If they don't hit a flyer next turn, they're dead. Because um, I can just pay one. So I can hit them for four and then make a bunch of Triskelevites, and then ping them down. So it's next turn or bust. And with double a Crow and Legionnaire, it seems really unlikely that they're going to get out of this. Cool. Alright, we win. Yeah, we attack for four, then we make four for Skelevites, and then we just ping my opponent to death. Er... I guess we attack with three, but it's still lethal. So now we can let them attack. Uh, I can kill one of these. This one is first strike. So both of your guys die. I'm just gonna make sure no flyers or no life gain. Can't attack, can't attack, vigilance, nobody has reach. Yeah, okay. Cool. This is indestructible. And this is first strike. Yep, you can make a beast all you want. Uh, I'm just gonna let him die. No real need to keep him around. Uh, that way, in case I miscount my mana somehow, I just make sure I can get in for seven. That should do it uh, whenever my opponent either concedes or something. Whenever that happens. So yeah, this is a very typical game of Momir Basic. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's mostly a luck-based game, but I think it's really fun because it lets you see a lot of creatures you've never played with before, like what what is Lady Calaria? Or Pit Spawn? I never have ever seen those. Uh, no. You can die. Just attacking with the flyer. Make a token. Ping my opponent for three. So that early one damage, long time ago, really mattered. Like, I think back at turn one, when I hit my opponent with the wolf bit and captive. Uh, that was the deciding factor in the game, which is why I think it's very important in this format. But anyways, thanks for watching and see you guys next round.